everybody well it's Sunday morning and I'm off um, to the bowling club again <laughs> I always seem to do a car vlog when I'm going to the bowling club um, what it is um, it's um, the bowling club's open day they do have a bit of a bowling competition which I can't do with my shoulder uh, but I just sort of go down and support them a bit um, then I want to nip up to Tesco um, and next I've got something to take back to next as you might imagine and um, I want to nip in Tesco have a look what they've got and there's a few bits that I need um, so uh, that's my day today uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do uh, I haven't I usually do a Sunday dinner for the family but I haven't done one for a while because I found it a bit of a strain um, oh and I've got a big problem <laughs> my dishwasher well i think it's packed in it's working but i think the heater's gone now it is a very old dishwasher it's a miley one is it mealy miley mealy whatever now a neighbor gave me their old kitchen units uh, a few years ago which had fitted in my kitchen which i was really grateful for it's a friend and neighbor um and she also gave me the dishwasher which was a Miley one. Now she'd had it 15 years and I've probably had it about another seven, six or seven. Can't remember when I did my kitchen, but it's quite a few years ago. Um, so um, I don't know, I think what's happened is, I think the heat has gone because um, the pots, it does work, but the, when the uh, crockery comes out, it's all, it's wet and it's cold water whereas normally when you open it up it's steaming so it's a bit of a problem i don't know what to do because miley is a very good mate but it's very old um so should i get a new dishwasher or should i see if i can get a new heater i wonder how much a new heater i presume the heater's gone in it um but i suppose a new one will be a lot more efficient the thing is I mean, I have had dishwashers before, um, but I've never had one as good as the Miley one. And they are so expensive, aren't they? I've been looking online how much they are, and they like talking telephone numbers, really. Um, so anybody give me any advice on um, whether I should get a new Miley one? Um, because I can get one from John Lewis. Um, you know, they've got a couple on offer. And also, I saw online um, a Miley-like outlet where they were quite a bit cheaper. And it was, um, they were like, they'd been demonstration models or something like that. Um, so I didn't know whether to go for one of those, but obviously, unless you, it, it's based in Abingdon, which is miles away from where I live. So you wouldn't be able to see it. So I don't really know what to do. It did say that some of the casing might be slightly damaged or something, which I'm not too bothered about if I save quite a bit of money, because it was quite a bit of money. Or has anybody out there got a really good dishwasher that they can recommend? <laughs> I can't remember what the one I had before was. I gave it my nephew. Uh, you know, when my neighbor gave me these um, kitchen units, she was going to throw them all out and the dishwasher. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to get this mended. But I'm, I'm guessing it'll be a fortune having it mended. And then it's 20 odd years old. Is it worth having it mended? I know they are built to last. Has anybody got a new Miley dishwasher? Let me have your thoughts on it. Or if you've got another make, you know, I can't remember what I had before, was it an Indicet? It might have been an Indicet. You see, I'm a bit, I had a Beko, a Beko fridge and freezer, and both of them were not very good. Uh, sorry, Beko, but they weren't. Uh, my freezer was constantly defrosting itself. Um, so, I was a bit off Beko. I know they're very reasonable. But then, so when I replaced my freezer, I got a Grundig one, because I thought, oh, that's a good um, make, isn't it? A good German make. Um, I'd read good reviews on it. So I got this Grundig one. Anyway, I had to ring up about something. Um, and when I rang them up, do you know when they answered the phone, they said, Becco. 
So obviously Becco and Grundig are the same company. So it's a bit, you don't know who you're actually buying from, do you really? So anyway, that's my dishwasher problem. So let me know about your dishwashers and if any are good. I mean, I could wash up in the sink. I mean, I do, I do do that as well. But you know, you do get used to it. You know, like when I've had the um, all the family round, I like, um, and you do a Sunday dinner. It's so easy, isn't it, to put it in the dishwasher. And normally I do feel that they're cleaner when they come out of the dishwasher. Only not at the moment <laughs> with the cold water. Right, I'm not far away. It's a lovely sunny day. It's very cold though. Um, I might have to change my coat. I have got a warmer coat in the car. Um, we've had so much rain. I don't know whether everybody else has. In the UK especially and in this area. It's constant, just constant. And when the dogs have been out in the garden, the feet are all muddy. But they say this is what we're going to have, springs and winters like this, wet. It's all to do with global warming, so they tell us. Right, I'm not far away, so I'll stop prattling on and I'll speak to you soon. Right, I've nipped up to next now. These are just a few things that are in next. Bright colours seem to be very fashionable, don't they? Lots of reds and greens. And then I, I thought these were nice. I love that bright blue. They have got some nice new things come in next. I shouldn't look really. Some beautiful colours. And some things that are a bit different. Look look at the uh, orange waistcoat here. And these look lovely. Not for me, but if you're tall and slim, it looked really lovely, the outfit. There's a few pieces in it. Very different. And then I thought this print was lovely. Like a palm tree. And then there was like boucle jackets that I thought looked nice. Right, I've moved to Tesco now, uh, so I'm going to show you what's in Tesco. Uh, lots of offers on the towels. You know, if you've got your club card, that's the thing, isn't it? I was looking for some new bedding. I did actually get some from Asda. I got some of the Stacey Solomon one, um, but I was looking for new bedding. And I also had seen some nice crockery online that I wanted to look for, but I, they didn't have it in. I thought these were nice. They're like, um, they've got a candle inside. I think it's a citronella one. And then look at these plates, aren't they unusual? I do actually really like the Tesco. That Fox and Ivy um, homeware, I think it's really nice. Of course, they've got lots of stuff out for the gardens now. These were all got outdoor things, lovely outdoor cushions for, you know, for your furniture outside. I thought this bedding, not for me, but I did like it. It's very bright and blue. Then these reed, I like this reed glass cup and glassware. I do think they're, all their crockery is beautiful, really nice. I like those fluted edge plates. Can you see them? Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that lavender colour. Those are the plates that I quite like. 
I wonder if they'll chip easily. Now I did like this glass, it quite a lot of things in it. I obviously like that crockery because I kept going back to it. So many nice things. Now they have some beautiful cushions. This one's lovely. It was like a butterfly. Look at that one with the flowers on. Just nice to see what there is in the shops, isn't it? This lilac colour does seem very fashionable. I thought that cushion was beautiful, I'm showing it you again. Now, can you see the uh, round flowered cushion? I thought that was nice, and the one with the bunny on. Isn't it pretty? That'd be nice on a child's bed. These mugs were reduced, that's why I, I was showing you them. They were only £2, if they got your initial. duvets half price and pillows they do rate their homeware and they do have good offers on it now we're looking at the clothes this stripe seems to be in doesn't it and the waistcoats i am going to do a, I've, i'm going to do a video on waistcoats on styling waistcoats this week sometime so watch out for that one I thought these suits were lovely. You know, you buy them as separates, but they do look nice. I like it when they show you, you know, the videos of them styling them. Looks nice. Oh, I wish I could wear it sleeveless, but no way. Just give you ideas on how to wear things though. They had lot seem to have lots of new clothes in. It's a shame they don't do online anymore of Tesco. I used to love the Florence and Fred online. These little boxy cardigans are very fashionable as well, aren't they? Lots and lots of different trousers. And the trench coats. I do love a trench coat. Not that I've got one, but I do love one. I did sort of get one from Primark last year, but I took it back because I was, I was wondering when I was actually going to wear it. But I do like them. Summer dresses coming in. And lots of these little, they're like a Chanel style jacket, aren't they? Jogging bottoms, they're always useful, aren't they? Morning everybody, morning everybody. Well today's Friday and I'm just going out for lunch with the ladies from the bowling club. We go out once a month, first Friday of the month. Um, I should have washed my hair, it's a mess. But I'm going out tomorrow so I wanted it fresh for tomorrow because honestly it gets so uh, lank and greasy mine. 
Um, right, I'll see you in a minute. We're going to a little cafe up Red Bank Road called Madison's. I'm just hoping I'll be able to park. You can see the cottage over there. I always think it's really nice. I think it's called Ivy Cottage. I always think it looks really nice. I bet they didn't expect to have this busy road put in front of them. As I said, I do need to call at the post office, but I don't think I've got time before I go. I'll be late if I go now, I'll have to go on the way home. Just sending the dresses back to um, Roman that I didn't buy. I bought the green one and I've kept the blue one as well. I thought they'd be useful for summer. The handy dresses to just pull on, that's if we ever get any summer. It's another dull day. At least it's not raining. drive this way yourselves. <laughs> I'm actually not going up to the bowling club but it's not far away. And tomorrow night, um, honestly it never rains but it falls does it? Does it? Because uh, you know I haven't been out for a while and then tomorrow night I'm going out with um, three, four friends actually. We're just going for a meal and a catch-up. And my sister-in-law also asked me if I wanted to go out tomorrow, which was really nice. Um, but, you know, I can't do both, so I can't be in two places at once, so... And I've got Mabel again tomorrow because my son-in-law's doing the Manchester Marathon. So he's been busy um, practicing for that. Just going past the post office that everyone gone to. That's where I go for my physio as well. It does seem to be helping, although it was quite painful yesterday. But I think, um, I keep trying to do those exercises, but after I've done them, it hurts. <laughs> so. Those um, villagers that they ruined in the 60s, was it the 60s and the 70s when they put all these flat roof buildings in? It was such a beautiful village. I thought they were modernising it. This road would take you straight down to the promenade if um, you carried on. I would take some uh, video of us having lunch, but some of the ladies don't really want to be on the internet and I've got to respect their wishes. I can understand. Buddy, it's Saturday morning. Excuse my hair, I'm washing it later on today. Oh, just let me turn you around. Oh, I'll, I'll show you on the way back. There's some beautiful cherry blossom trees on here. Years and years ago, I used to work not far from here, and I used to get the bus to work every day. And in those days, I used to sit upstairs, and I used to love all the cherry blossom trees up here. And it always made me want to live around here. And how lucky I am that I do now, all those years later. Anyway, I'm on my way into Blackpool. Um, there's a Marks and Spencers there, and I want to, you know, the green and cream, uh, green and white trousers, which I love, but they slip down all the time. Um, well, I got some black ones in it, black and white ones in a similar style when I went shopping with Nana M. Anyway, I thought, well, if they're just going to do the same, that's another waste of money. So I'm taking those back. Um, it's a shame because I did like them, but um, I don't need them, really. Although I haven't bought new summer trousers for a few years now. Um, to be truthful, we don't need that many summer ones around here, do we? Oh, the cherry blossom trees are beautiful. 
Right, so I'm going there and then um, I'll ha I might have a look in Primark, although we took you to Primark, didn't we, when we went with Nana M. But I'll see if there's anything new um, in there. And I may even go in, uh, there is a TK Maxx. Do you know, well I haven't been to Blackpool for about, I don't think I've been this year. I don't go very often and uh, um, so I'll make the most of it, but I don't want to be too long. I'm going out tonight with some friends, we're just going to, this, it's a little Italian and we're just going for dinner and a catch up, which will be nice, you know, so I'll wash my hair later on. I don't know why I'm telling you this, I don't suppose you're interested in when I wash my hair. <laughs> Mine gets very lank quite easily, so um, I like to wash it fresh if I'm going out. Well, it's a very dull day. It was very warm yesterday, believe it or not. And her, I don't think, we did we have no rain at all? I don't think we did. Can't remember any. Oh, I've got a cyclist in front of me. I hate it when they overtake cars and you know, you're hanging behind. It must be awful for them though, riding with all the cars. I would hate to do it. Right, I'll turn you around and you can see some of the trees. And you know, I turned you around ages ago, charging away to you, and I never switched the camera on. What am I like? I'm always doing that. So you've missed all the beautiful trees. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
Well, I've just popped in TK Maxx and I just thought I'd show you some of these dresses. I thought they were a bit unusual. They were really nice. You know, you just have to buy things when you see them there, don't you? I didn't buy anything. But I just thought I'd just pop in and show you them. They were lovely if you were going on holiday. You know, there's quite a few caftan style ones. Really look nice, you know, and comfortable. Really comfortable dresses they looked. just now popped upstairs to TK Maxx where all the homeware is. I think they have some amazing homeware. Uh, these were, um, they were mats actually. I did do need a new doormat, um, but I couldn't be bothered to carry one all the way home. Lots of uh, lovely um, different pottery and I love these candles. Aren't they sweet? Like a strawberry. And then I love this shell. I really liked it, but where do I put it, you know? And I think these are for out on your, on your wall to put plants in. Then there was like the Easter section that they were reduced. Now I thought these uh, plants, artificial plants in pots look really nice. Some of them were very realistic looking. I thought they were really nice to brighten, you know, somewhere up where you couldn't grow plants. Yes, they were all about 1999. Then the lots of outdoor things, you know, for in your garden. Oh, and I love this dish. But it's where you store them, and I would have loved this one, you know, for like showing food on when you um do a cooking video, but it's storing them. I did look at the pans I could do with some new pans. There were some lovely things. Now, I thought this was good. This is a, a toilet roll holder for your bathroom. I don't really have room in mind for something like that. And I thought these were beautiful. I think they f I felt them. They're like a resin. They weren't china, you know, they're like a resin. But weren't they pretty? Right, I've gone out into the Hounds Hill Centre now. There's River Island. Right, I've now popped into Primark. Um, I'll just show you some of the newer things that are in because, um, we, you know, Lynn and I did do a Primark um, video last week. You don't want to be seeing all the same things. Um, if I have uh, duplicated it, I'm really sorry. I'll just let you look around. There, are so, there were some lovely things.
Right, well I've finished shopping now. I've been nearly two hours, I don't think, well an hour and a half, I didn't think I'd be that long. I don't know if you'll be able to see the winter gardens over there as I come round. Maybe not. Oh yes, I think you can. It's nice in there. They have a lovely ballroom. And they have a theatre, but I think the theatre is a bit in need of refurbishment. There's still a lot of construction work going on by the looks. Going past the old Debenhams, it's sad, isn't it? I miss Debenhams. This is a nice hotel, the one that was in brown and orange, the Rutskin. I went there for afternoon tea the other week and it was lovely. There's a lot of old guest houses around here. Now I need to call, I've just remembered, it's a good job I didn't forget, I need to call at Sainsbury's on the way back. I order something and uh, I normally have it delivered to, there's a Sainsbury's, well it's on the way to the bowling club, it's not too far. And for some reason, I, they sent it to the Saint. I, I mustn't have realised, it's probably my fault. But it ended up at the Sainsbury's in Blackpool, that's why I've had to come down here. And I thought, well, I had to take something back to Marks and Spencer, so I thought I might as well kill two birds with one stone. You can see that Blackpool needs a lot of redevelopment, but they are trying. And this is an area I'm coming up to that um, they're redeveloping. It's called the Cat Talbot Gateway. Oh dear, I might be here all day. <laughs> You stop to let a few through and loads come through. Yeah, so this is a new Holiday Inn they've just built and there's a Marco Pierre White's um, restaurant at the bottom. I'm not sure whether it's opened yet. And then here's the big Sainsbury's. where I'm going. I nearly forgot actually. We laugh when they say prices match, uh, match to uh, prices match to Aldi. Why do they have to match them to Aldi? Why don't they just do cheap prices themselves? They're all doing it, aren't they? All the supermarkets. You know, saying an Aldi price match. No, finding a car space is the next thing. The thing is, lots of people have such big cars nowadays. And I think the car spaces weren't designed for the size of the cars that people have. I have only a little one, so I'm all right. Oh. Actually, these car spaces don't feel too bad. I just thought I'd show you the view from here. This is like the just come out the car park at Sainsbury's. You can see that's a new Holiday Inn. 
this is the station. And I don't know if you can see in the distance. building at the back was the old miners convalescent home. It's sort of apartments now. And our bowling green's just by there actually. Can you see? Right, I just thought I'd show you that. <laughs> there are some lovely um, dresses and clothes in Sainsbury's. Uh, I just thought I'd show you those as well. I'm going to finish this vlog here because it's gone on far too long i didn't realize how long it was if you have enjoyed it and you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to please do it's absolutely free and it really helps me out i'm getting very near to six thousand subscribers so i'm getting very excited and if you have enjoyed it 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 helped me as well if you left a comment or gave me a thumbs up bye bye and thank you for watching